Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Williams and I'm the Social Media Manager at Aetna Interactive. I'm here to share the latest happenings with Facebook advertising in two recent case studies. I've been a part of the social media team at Aetna for four years now. The evolution of social media has been fast and exciting. For those of you who aren't familiar with our social product offering, we run our social media support in the format of 6-12 to 12 month social media plans. These plans align with the client's online marketing goals and marketing plan. Depending on the budget that the client is comfortable with, we fit in social tactics like puzzle pieces for optimal results. While we aim to prove at least a 2 to 1 return on investment for your social media plan, we also consider the other benefits that having a social media presence can contribute to your business. These include building a community of brand advocates, establishing yourself as an expert and increasing your authority in your field, humanizing your business and building trust with your customers, advertising specials and promotions, providing another avenue for improving your customer service, and also getting to know your potential customers. As a recent Gallup survey shares, companies that engage their customers by providing exceptional service and a pleasurable in-store experience will in turn drive those customers to interact with them on social media. Simply promoting products and services on Facebook and Twitter is not going to lead you to sales. The survey also goes on to say that customers appreciate the highly personal and conversational nature of social media sites. They prefer interacting in an open dialogue as opposed to just receiving those hard sales. By using social to provide timely responses, answer questions, you'll build those loyal brand advocates that will eventually lead to increased sales. It's also important to remember when it comes to your social media efforts, use a more service-focused approach rather than one that's just going to push your products. Create that better user experience. For this reason, we try to focus our post contact, content on 80% engaging and conversational posts and 20% self-promotional. One of the things we face regularly is communicating what truly makes a social media presence, presence successful. We hear from clients who will say, this competitor's page is awesome, can you guys post like this on mine or get me this many followers? And oftentimes, when we take a deeper look, the page is a lot of fluff. You have to be careful that the followers aren't bought and live in third world countries or that you own the rights to use these images in your posts. Also, you want to really make sure that you're including links to your website wherever you can so you can convert these people into leads. There's an art to social that while yes, it is a form of relationship marketing, it can be an extremely effective player in your marketing strategy. And at this point, with how mature social media is, there's a method to this madness that can prove your efforts are effective and earned. So today I'm going to talk about Facebook advertising. Facebook controls how many of your fans will see each post based on a complex and evolving algorithm. It's getting more and more competitive for your post to show up in the newsfeed of your fans. I'm sure you've all heard the recent hustle, hustle and bustle about organic reach decreasing. From 16% of your followers engaging with a brand page in 2012 to a mere 6% in February 2014. The advice then was for community managers to expect organic reach to approach zero by the end of the year. There's a lot you can still do to fight the algorithm updates. Some of our tips are posting quality content four to six times per week, responding to comments and questions in a timely fashion, posting a mix of your content and sharing others' content, experimenting with a variety of post types, and using Facebook Insights to emulate posts that were successful in the past. And then including a call to action that's going to encourage engagement and click-throughs, tagging other pages to expand your reach, and testing post length from super short posts to long ones to see what works best for your audience. All of these efforts are still effective and worthy of your time. For our clients in the cosmetic industry, it's important to note that according to a recent article by the Huffington Post, Users aged 35 to 54 are up 41% on Facebook since 2011. The 55 plus age group is up 80%. This means your customers are on Facebook. So remember, don't give up just yet. <laughs> Facebook's database of information about their users is extremely extensive. You can target ads by age, gender, relationship status, interests, demographics, and pretty much anything you can think of. Today we're going to talk about the two most effective forms of advertising on Facebook that we've used for our clients. The first one is promoted posts. The goal behind promoted posts is to increase engagement on your page. This includes everything from reach to likes to comments, shares, and clicks on your posts. 
It's easy to see the result of a promoted post and want to promote every post from now on, but we don't really find this is necessary or even effective use of your marketing budget. What we suggest is running one promoted post per week. You want to link to a related landing page on your website or blog that has an obvious place where the visitor can convert into a lead. This would include a contact form or request the consultation form for our clients. You want to keep the post length between two to three sentences and you want to use at least $20 to $50 for that budget to promote the post. I'm going to suggest that you test a bunch of target demographics if you're just getting started. For our cosmetic clients, again, we've seen targeting females with a broad age range between 25 and 65 and with an interest in healthy living, designer brands, parenting, and weight loss get some of the highest engagement. It's also important to target new fans that are nearby your practice and are likely to become customers of your business. So a real quick client success story that I'm going to share is for Dustin Plastic Surgery, located in Dustin, Florida. We, ran a created, we created a promoted post for them that linked to their new photo gallery on their website and wanted to send as much traffic there as we possibly could. In 24 hours, with a promoted post and a budget of $20, they received 43 new fans, 43 likes on the post, 26 comments, one share, 1,213 post clicks, they reached 4,426 people, and had almost 800 people engage with their page in 24 hours. On the website at the same time, we sent 281 referrals, the average visit from each visitor was five minutes, and the average website pages that they visited was over 10. On the, in addition, they had two surgery leads come through directly from that post. All really, really great things. Another form of Facebook advertising that we've had success with is like ads. The goal of these is to simply increase the fan numbers with targeted people in your area that would be interested in your business. The most important part here, again, is the targeting. So you're gonna create an ad that's short and catchy, just one liner at the top, and a branded graphic. We typically just pull the cover photo from the page if it's beautifully designed. If you don't get specific with your targeting, you can end up with a spammy following. So there are a lot of fake profiles on Facebook that are set up purely to like business pages. If Facebook realizes that the majority of your followers are fake, they're going to publish your reach even more in the newsfeed. So one thing that you can do is go to your Insights tab and click on your People's tab and see the breakdown of your fans. You can see their age, their sex, their location. Keep a good eye on this as you're running advertising to make sure you're attracting the right people for your page. By using these targeting options, you'll be able to avoid the spam follower issue and attract potential customers. So you're going to start when you're creating the ad. Under locations, you can choose your business's city and nearby cities that you wish to target. If you're in a major metropolitan city, one's going to be enough, but if you're in a smaller city, consider adding two, new, two other cities nearby. The interest section is where you're going to really get specific. You're going to choose between five and ten interests. Some suggestions, again, for our cosmetic clients are fitness and wellness magazines, designers such as Michael Kors, Lululemon, Louis Vuitton, women's health magazine, Real Simple magazine. Do some branded interest searches here. You can really, really get specific if you know your customers. And then in the co connection section, you have four options. You're going to choose people that are not connected to your page. You don't want to target people that have already liked your page because the point here is to attract new followers. And then in the budget section, you're going to choose per day. So in regards to how much you need to spend on these ads, I would start with $50. You can do $5 per day for 10 days and see if you get a good return. And then make sure the bidding section is set to optimize for page likes and make sure your estimated daily reach before you publish the ad is at least a thousand people. One quick success story that we've had with Facebook like ads was one for the Piazza Center in Austin, Texas. We ran a like ad for them before they started their Facebook campaign to try to get as many followers as possible on the page. The ad ran for the $50 budget and brought in 84 new fans. This is an awesome return. We want you to pay no more than a dollar per new fan. The ad also contributed to the page receiving a significant spike in engagement. This proved that the new fans are people that are actually going to be interested in interested in the content that we're sharing. So, if you're ready to get started with Facebook advertising and you need any help at all, we have a team of social media specialists available and ready to guide you through the process or run the ads for you. Whatever level of support you need, we're here. 
If you want to learn more, make sure to subscribe to our newsletter at eninteractive.com newsletter or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Hope you have a great day.